everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will share with you how to use Kiddo to up-level your visual design. So a quick reminder, I share everything about UX from portfolio reviews, design credits on my YouTube channel. If you are interested on this type of content, please feel free to hit the subscribe so you won't miss any of my future content. As a UX designer who doesn't have a visual or graphic design background, sometimes I really struggle about how to create high quality visual assets quickly, ranging from logo or presentation assets, cover image for your UX portfolio, or social media post, I am so excited to discover Kiddo. I think Kiddo is a super powerful tool that can really help you optimize your design workflow and 10 times your efficiency to create fantastic visual assets. If you're interested to explore, please feel free to click the link below so you can try it for free. So let me show you how to do it. We're looking at the landing page of Kiddo. It has a range of templates from creating logos, labels, even t-shirt, posters, to social media materials that you can browse. There's also Kiddo AI that allow you to explore the AI powered tools. Just a quick glance, it has a broad range of different visual materials, different styles, from more of a retro style to modern, simplistic. Feel free to explore it. So what I want to show you first is as a UX designer, how you can create some quick image for your portfolio project with Kiddo. I'm just going to start a new project from here. It's going to pop up this window where you can select what size of the artboard you want. I'm just going to go with the standard square. So now we're looking at our artboard. You can name your project over here. I'm just going to call it cover or um, circle. There is a site navigation bar here where you can switch between my projects, templates, you can see the text, elements available, upload your own assets, browse photos, textures, and use the Kiddo AI functions. On the right hand, bottom right, there is this tool called layers, another tab called color palettes. We'll look at those later as we progress. The project I'm hoping to create a cover image is one of this like mobile page that I want to feature in the cover page. So I'm hoping to find like a background image that has a phone device, ideally with some simple, clean, modern setting in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the camera to search for some photos. Here I'm going to type phone. And from here, you will see a range of photos with a mobile phone device in it. You know, some has more of a simple, plain background to the ones uh, even uh, people holding a phone in their hand or with more rich background. Oh, I love this image. Super clean background setting and a phone device in the center. So once you select this image, you can right click on it and select use as background. Now you will have this image as the background. Now we can just move it to the area where the phone device is, adjust the rotate so it can match the angle. And now we can resize it by drag and see how it fits. This is about right. And double click will take you into the crop mode where you can crop the screen to match the size of the phone device. Perfect. There you go. Now we have a cover image for my portfolio page. Let's take a look at another example. So a lot of the time we'll need to create like a logo for a brand or project you work on. I have been working on a plant care app and I want to design a simple logo for this app. So what can I do with Kiddo? You can browse a lot of inspirations for logo design. Here on the top, you can also select different type or categories by animal, badge, gaming, handwritten, or more. I'm just going to go ahead and search flower since I'm looking for something related to plant care and see what we got. I really like this illustration, not too complicated and still very iconic. For the name of the app is Plant Care, so I can just go ahead and change the name over here. And 
here, I would say the simple version would start with the P. This is probably the actual logo I'm going to go with. And uh, you can change the text really easy and also adjust the typeface to different font from a huge range of selections. Okay, for the image here, this flower image is pretty, but not quite relevant to my case. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that. But let's go ahead and search in photos and see if there's something closer to what I'm looking for. This is perfect. I'm just gonna go ahead and select this image. So first, let me just move it to the right place. And because of the grid it already have, it's really easy to adjust the size. And once I have the size right, I'm just gonna name it to Quan and move it to the right layer and the background below the teal stamp. Perfect. If you are not happy with the color, you can continue to fine tune. To me, this teal color is okay, but it's a little bit tuned down. So I want to make it brighter. And if you want to do a global change of all the assets here, instead of changing individual color for the tags, or the icon, you can just tap here, the project color tab, it's gonna open the color palette. And here, if you just tap on the color you want to change, and for example, here, I want to make it a little bit darker and more saturate. And did you notice that? It's actually like a global color change for everything in this image from like the background feel to the tags and the icon. I find this is so useful because you don't have to actually go ahead and change individual items one by one. So there we go. We just created a set of logos for the Plum Care app. In case you're not happy or want to try something else for this logo design, another way to do it is use the Kittle AI tool. You can go ahead, tap on the Kittle AI icon here. As you see, it can generate image or logo. So let's switch to logo generator. And here you can come up with your own text prompt, what you want for your logo. If you need some inspiration, there are also examples below. You can get an idea how to write the prompt. Let's try it out. There you go. You know, it has generated a few options. If, if you're happy with it, you can pick one and start from there to tweak it, or you can continue adjusting your prompt. Let's take a look at another example, how we can leverage the Kittle AI tools. On this page, you will learn that Kittle has enabled a range of AI tools that can really increase your design efficiency. Here you will see the different kind of AI tools within Kittle from AI background generator to AI image generator, vector generator, and background remover, clip art generator, image vectorizer, and more. So let's test it out. Here I'm really looking to recreate a cover image for a mobile app called Armor. So this is basically the existing cover image I have for my portfolio. And I think it's okay, but the background is just super simple. I'm gonna try and see what we can do to make a better image for it. There is an image tool called AI Background Remover. So I'm gonna click on that to remove the existing purple background. There you go. Now we have a clean device with the screen. You can use this alignment tool to make sure it is centered, vertical, and horizontal. And now let's take a look at textures. The navigation bar on the left, you will see this icon for textures. And here you will see a range of different textures from paper to like a crack texture, plastic, green, marble. And on the other tab, you can also switch that to background, which you will find a huge variety of background, including abstract watercolor, simple gradient, vintage paper, clouds, and grainy gradient, and even more. So for this case, I'm looking for something simple, but has a little bit of color and that can give it more visual interest, but not taking the full attention away from this um, mobile app. So I'm gonna take a look at gradient as a start. 
Ooh, I think this colorful one might work. And you can switch around and just to get a sense of how it looks with lighter background or darker background. I'm kind of like this lighter tone, to be honest, because I think it actually helped the device frame pop up more. So on uh, another note, uh, if you're not super happy about the, the device frame, another thing you can do is to search in photo. I'm going to type phone again, and you will see there are a lot of pictures with phone frames. This one looks quite clean with this wood background. So again, you can use the AI background remover tool to get rid of the background. Now you have a clean screen of the device frame. So let's try the image vectorizer. It actually generated this relatively clean phone frame for us. We can bring back the image we want to show and put it behind the frame. There you go. Much better. What do you think? Let's take a look at another example, how to use Kittle to generate like a social media post really quick. So first of all, you can select social to see all the existing templates for some inspiration. Here, I want to generate a quick Instagram post to show and highlight some top AI tools for designers. This one really stand out to me because the format just fits what I am looking for. Let's try it out. Jellyfish. Okay, so here, um, let me just change the title. By the way, on this topic, if you're interested to learn more, feel free to check out my other video that talks more about the top AI tools for all designers. And let me just replace the tags and then you can adjust the font size here by simply just test, try a different size that fits the best for what you're looking for. Over here, I can just simply replace the text to show the tool that I want to recommend in this social media post. There we go. This is all I have for today. If you have any thoughts or comments, please feel free to share with me. I would love to hear from you. See you next time. Bye.